So Engadget has a review of a new wearable that's been called a drill sergeant for your face. Uh, I think we have a little bit of the video uh, from, of the device. Wearables, biometrics, monitoring, tracking. What are we missing? We have the hardware, we have the data. Are we happy yet? After all, it's the holidays, the hap happiest season of all. So how do we know if we're happy or happy enough? Introducing Jolly, the first wearable that tracks how often you smile. So he is wearing a Santa Claus beard. We've gotten to the point where we're comfortable with technology touching us, not just on a surface level, but it's reading our most intimate mm -hmm. biometrics. And we thought, how can we take that intimacy and use that as outward spiraling connective tissue to improve humanity and the world in general. And we thought the best way to do that was, was through a beard. All right, so we have got one journalist who's been patiently waiting on the line. He has reviewed the Jolly Tracker uh, and welcome Terrence O'Brien from Engadget. Uh, thanks for coming on, Terrence. Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the Jolly Tracker. Uh, so the Jolly Tracker is a Santa beard. So imagine this lovely thing gone and giant white beard here. Uh, that has electrodes that measure whether or not you're smiling, watching the feedback from your muscles. And then if you don't smile, there's other electrodes that shock you and give you a gentle reminder that you should be happy. So uh, we should say before we go on, this is an ad for an ad agency. Uh, it's, of not, <laughs> it's not a real uh, wearable. It might, some people might think it should be, uh, but uh, it, it is really an ad. So... Um, yeah, I mean, thing. press companies need to advertise themselves sometimes, and they do these weird little creative things like this. And, you know, it's it's a fun experiment, but no, you're not going to see it on shelves this holiday season, unfortunately. It's a Christmas Fool's Day ad. But I do yeah. think, you know, I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, obviously, no one would want this. But you could imagine uh, uh, instances in which people might actually want this. I remember um, I lived in China during the 2008 Olympics. And there, the, uh, everybody who was working on the Olympic Games had to smile all the time. Uh, and they were going around and telling people, oh, you're not smiling enough. Like, you could totally imagine them, instead of having them monitored by human beings, making them wear some kind of device that would force them to smile more. Oh, absolutely. I was actually talking to a couple of friends yesterday about it, uh, guys who happened to be in sales and in PR. And they were saying that, you know, it'd be really good help train new hires to smile more because it's like a really important thing for making a connection with your clients. I don't know if it's legal to shock new hires. I, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, but, but so, um, I don't know. I think, I think it's okay. Uh, so you, you actually tried this. It's a, it was a real device. Um, did it really shock you? Oh yeah, no, it shocked me. Um, so yeah, behind the beard itself, there's a whole bunch of things that you can't see. There's an Arduino, there's this thing called the muscle spiker shield, which is what's actually measuring whether or not your muscles are moving. And then there's a TENS device, which is generally used for applying mild electric shocks for like therapeutic purposes. Um, and so, yeah, you can, you, you put all these electrodes on and it monitors it, there's just an app and it shocks you and it shocked me pretty good. And we only had it up to about half power and I'll, I'll admit that it was pretty painful after a while. Uh, the first time, it's more of just a shock and a jolt, but after wearing it for 15 minutes straight doing this video that uh, we're, we're watching now, uh, I, I was in a little bit of pain. <laughs> were you smiling more afterwards? Or were oh, you grimacing oh, yeah. from the pain? No, no, I was smiling in fear. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> I, I, it took me a while to stop smiling because I had just been doing this for like 15 minutes. It was amazing. So could could someone uh, really build something like this? I mean, all the all the tools really work in the way that they were described. Yeah, I mean, it's you know everything works the way it's supposed to. Uh, the I guess the the trouble would be deciding how you would apply it. So um, you know, again, this is kind of a publicity stunt, and so what the app is just doing basically is it's counting down for 15 seconds and every 15 seconds, if you're not smiling when that countdown ends, uh, it jolts you. 
So you could sit there and I could have not smiled for 15 seconds and then remember at the end of it, like, oh, no, big grin and everything would be okay. But you'd have to build a little bit more of a complex app, I'm sure, to actually make it something semi-useful. So uh, I'm a little bit psychologically disturbed at... Um because I'm kind of entertained by watching it. <laughs> and, and I don't know what that says. Okay, good. That's that's what I wanted to hear, really. <laughs> I am going to kind of imagine that every Santa shoot uh, this Christmas where kids are going to sit on Santa's lap, that he is wearing this and being forced to smile all day. Oh, that would be amazing if mall Santa had to be shocked to make sure that he was smiling for all the kids all the time. I'm, yes. I like that. So I think this is interesting uh, from an advertising perspective uh, that there are like hackers uh, everywhere now, even like, you know, in ad agencies uh, that, that are making these devices, uh, maker madmen, um, I might call them. Uh, but what do you think it also says about wearables uh, in general? I mean, it, it says a lot of different things. I mean, if the... <laughs> The creative lead there, uh, John, who was in the video that you showed before, would tell you that this is sort of like trying to cut to the heart of the wearables movement as a whole. And that's about it's trying to make you a happier person or a better person. And, uh, you know, they do it in these little piecemeal ways by making sure that you're getting enough sleep or that you're healthy enough. And uh, there's ones that measure brain waves to make sure that, you know, you're zen enough or whatever. Um, so there's all these different things that they do, but they're not really being honest about what it is they're trying to trying to make happen like and that is that they want to make you a better happier person and this is kind of their sly commentary on saying like no that at the end of the day this is the ultimate goal 